first look at Awaken OS version 1.2.1 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and we have some good news for Redmi K20 Pro and Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro owners. You have a new ROM available and the name of the ROM is Awaken OS. In this video, we are going to check out the features of Awaken OS version 1.2.1 based on Android 11. Now, right off the bat, you will notice that the cats game of the Android 11 Easter egg is not working on this build and that I think is because this is the first build of Awaken OS. So we should expect some bugs. Next up, you will notice that the phone specifications mention the RAM as 5 GB, whereas it should mention it as 6 GB. Then you can see that the kernel they are using is perf kernel and SE Linux, of course, is enforcing the security patches from October 5th, 2020. And another bug which I noticed is that when you press and hold the power button for your power menu, the background does not go black. On Android 11, the background is supposed to go completely dark or grayish when you press and hold the power button and you get the power menu. Next up, the build does come with Google Apps baked in and as you can see, I do have Pixel Launcher working absolutely fine. Have a look at that smoothness and the speed. There are no jitters and no lags. We can test out the select feature. Bam, there it is. The text was highlighted and selected, which means the select feature is working absolutely fine. Next, let us take a screenshot. Works absolutely fine. Tap on share, quick share menu in the building, press and hold on any application and you should be able to pin it. There it is, pin the messages application and messages is now pinned as is signified by the pin besides the letter M. Next up, we can have a look at the volume panel. So this is how your volume panel looks like. You do have the expanded volume panel as well. You can use the button on the top to configure or move between the ringer modes and then you can use the button at the bottom to turn on or off live caption. Next up, let us have a look at the quick setting tiles. So these are the different tiles which you get and the ROM has added some pretty useful tiles like CPU info, which should display an overlay for your CPU information, switching the data card, heads up notification, the caffeine tile is there, stereo audio and mono audio tile then you have a tile for compass there it is works absolutely fine you have ring aod and ambient display tile as well in case you want to add more here are the other options which you can add other than that once you're in edit mode tap on the three dot menu on the top right and you can configure the columns in landscape mode normal mode and your quick bar columns as well along with the option to turn on or off your quick setting labels then we can also check for the screen recorder lag so android 11 does come with a screen recorder baked in which does let you record your internal audio and microphone at the same time now a change which you will notice is that once you invoke the screen recorder it's at the bottom on other android 11 or on stock android 11 it shows up on the top so them moving the whole panel to the bottom is a nifty feature let us select device audio and microphone and then start the screen recording to see if there is any ui lag once the recording has started so wow this is pretty smooth there is no ui lag which is pretty impressive because other android 11 roms which i have used there is a ui lag once you start recording the internal audio and microphone screen recorder and as you just saw that is not the case with awaken os version 1.2.1 then we can go into settings network and internet tap on your wi-fi name tap on it one more time you'll have the option to disconnect in the center and you also have the toggle to enable or disable auto connect on a per wi-fi basis next up you have awaken settings so this is where you have all the customizations for awaken os first up is status bar so you have a toggle to enable or disable the feature wherein you can slide across the status bar to increase or decrease your brightness in case you want to use the old mobile type icons if you want to display the 4g icon instead of lte if you want to see the data disabled icon roaming indicator 
and yes you do have battery style customizations these are the different options which you have i am using the big dotted circle right now with the battery percentage enabled inside the icon you can have it disabled or if you select enabled it will be outside the icon then if you want to see the battery percentage when your device is charging and yes you also have network traffic indicators three different options disabled in the status bar or in the expanded header then what is the activity type you want to see these are the different options you have you can configure your activity threshold whether you want to see the arrows or not and the single net font size then you have clock settings as well where do you want to see the clock left right or center then whether you want to see am pm or not and finally you can configure the status bar icons which you want to see next up we have customization for your quick settings so in case you want to use the new tint style then you have a toggle to enable or disable the vibrate on touch for your quick setting tiles brightness slider in your quick settings panel do you want to never show it show it only when it is expanded or show always i have set it as show always and there it is you can see it then you have the auto brightness icon whether you want to see it or not battery percentage and these are the different options you have right now i have enabled it so here it is on the top right you see the battery percentage if i disable it and now expand my quick settings you will see that i do not have the battery percentage then if you want to disable the quick settings when you're on a secure lock screen you have a toggle for that as well next up you have customizations for your hardware buttons so if you want to use your volume rockers to wake the device then long press of volume rockers when the screen is off for media control if you want to enable advanced restart you have a toggle for that as well so let us check that out here it is restart and you have the different options system recovery and bootloader so that is your advanced restart going back into buttons you also have a toggle to enable or disable the power menu on a secure lock screen in case you want to use your volume rockers for keyboard cursor control you have an option for that as well if you want to move your volume panel to the left you have an option for that as well and then what do you want to do when you press the power button say long press or double tap with the screen off to turn on or off your torch so let us say i do long press of power button right so here it is screen is off long press power button torch enabled long press one more time torch is now disabled and yes you do have double tap to wake along with fingerprint on display on this build then you have customizations for your notifications so notification sound if active and a toggle to enable or disable notification headers then you can customize your lock screen as well so you have double tap to sleep on the lock screen we can test that out so double tap to wake works absolutely fine double tap to sleep works absolutely fine as well next up you have double tap to sleep on the status bar so yes there it is double tap to sleep on the status bar also works without any issues in case you want to have translucent notifications background you have a toggle for that as well then you can also configure your media art on the lock screen so you can configure the blur level and if you want a music visualizer on the lock screen you have options for that as well once you enable this you can either use the automatic color of the lock screen or you can use the lava lamp and then you can you know configure your blend interval you can also configure the number of lines you want to see so yes the lock screen music visualizer does have a bunch of customization options then in case you want to enable or disable the lock icon on your lock screen whether you want to have lock screen charging info or not next up you have lock screen weather as well so yes you have a toggle for the whole option itself and then you can configure your weather options as to which service you want to use what weather style you want to use do you want to use the omni style or the pixel style next up you have customization for ambient display so do you want to see the battery level on your ambient display or not would you rather have always on display and yes there it is always on display does work absolutely fine and fod on the always on display is also working like a boss then if you are not using always on display you can enable to wake your screen for new notifications double tap to check the phone lift to, to check the phone all these options are working absolutely fine going back into awaken settings last but not the least you have miscellaneous so you can enable 
or disable dashboard conditions and dashboard suggestions next up you can go into apps and notification see all apps go into chrome permissions and yes you can now choose one time permission or ask every time and then you also have a toggle to enable or disable permissions if an application is not used for some time going back into apps and notifications you do have priority conversations and yes you also have notification history along with bubbles which do work absolutely fine a new feature which i noticed over here is that you have something called app compatibility changes now me personally i do not know what this feature does but if you do know about it do let me know via comments below and another thing i would like to point out is that besides all the options you will see an icon and yes this is something which awaken os is working on and the icon is not there for all the options but it is there for most of them then you have battery so in battery you have thermal profiles you can configure your thermals on a per app basis and these are the different options for thermals which you have you also have battery saver adaptive battery last full charge along with battery temperature going over to display you do have brightness level night light adaptive brightness is there and it does work absolutely fine however a test which i like to perform is turn off adaptive brightness brightness level to zero now you might not be able to see anything but i can see and double tap to wake is working absolutely fine along with fod let me now enable the adaptive brightness toggle and bam there it is you can see adaptive brightness works absolutely fine along with your fod at zero brightness which i think is a pretty nifty feature then you can configure your rotation angles so you have four different options 0 90 180 and 270 go into styles and wallpapers you can have custom lock screen clocks so these are the different options you have and yes the options are so many that you have to scroll down you don't have to scroll left or right you have to scroll down to see the other options and let me try the dot one tap on apply apply it successfully and let us see there it is working like a boss with no issues to report go into wallpaper and you can set your wallpaper as well other than that in display you can also change your colors so you have three different options natural boosted and adaptive then you can change the font size display size the dpi as well if you're going to lock screen you have what all content you want to see on the lock screen if you want to add any text on the lock screen whether you want to see the lockdown option on the lock screen or not now playing is broken in case you want to enable always on display you can do that from here as well and you can also configure your ambient display from advanced settings then you can toggle on and off double tap to wake and surprisingly you have the option for display cutout as well but as you can see we are not able to see the punch hole cutout and in my humble opinion this option should be removed for the redmi k20 pro you also have anti flicker mode or dc dimming along with the option to schedule your dark theme at a specific time then for font you have these different options for your headline and body font go into icon shape these are the multiple options you have right now we are using the display default option and let us try changing it to say the teardrop one and bam there it is teardrop icons working like a boss you can configure your icon pack if you go into awaken themes you have a system wide accent picker using the rgbs so let us use red and there it is red accent color working absolutely fine going into sound you have a toggle to enable or disable the linking and unlinking of ring and notification volumes in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that and once you enable this you can set your start volume and the ramp up time as well then you have vibrate for calls so do you want to never vibrate for calls always vibrate and vibrate first and then ring then you also have the oxygen os ringtone vibration patterns as well so these are the different options which you have along with that you have android 11 do not disturb which can be configured on a people basis apps basis and alarm basis live caption does work absolutely fine we are going to check that out later in this video then you also have toggles for all these different options along with direct sound enhancer 
going into security we already saw that the fod on this build is pretty good unfortunately you do not have screen of fod and the good thing is you also have face unlock in case you want to use face unlock moving over to system you can configure your front camera led along with the front camera sound effects these are the different options you have the ones which are missing are the star wars options going to gestures system navigation you have three different options full screen gesture navigation if you go into settings you can configure the left and right edge sensitivity along with the option of hiding the bar at the bottom and in case you want to enable haptic feedback for the back gesture you have a toggle for that as well in case you want to use the android 9.0 pi 2 button gestures those are also available along with the old school three button navigation bar as well going to prevent ringing you have three different options for power and volume up at the same time so you can either vibrate mute or mute with no media you also have three finger screenshot enabled and works absolutely fine then if you go into developer options you have the option of wireless usb debugging and scroll down you also have an option to enable the refresh rate there it is you will see on the top left 60 appear and disappear so that is the refresh rate on my panel right now next up you can check for safety net so as you can see i do have magisk manager installed do note my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net and there it is you can see that safety net passes out of the box which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues now those of you who do decide to root your device you might have to use magisk hide for safety net to pass next up you can check for youtube picture in picture along with live caption so for starters let me make sure that the volume is minimum so that i do not get a copyright strike and there it is you can see that live caption is working absolutely fine and we do have the grasshopper scene from need for speed in progress one of my favorite movies there it is picture in picture works absolutely fine with android 11 you can of course resize this window as well in case you want to and here it is grasshopper in the building super cool and super dope scene so picture in picture is working absolutely fine on this build as well as for your quick settings media control they also work absolutely fine they do look super cool and yes you can switch between the media output with the press of a button now we can check for gestures and lags here it is this is my recents have a look at that smoothness we can also check out my google feed there it is no jitters no lags nothing like that we can try switching between the different applications here it is gestures are working absolutely fine as well so all in all awaken os is the new kid on the block but the rom is pretty smooth and the experience is pretty good and those of you who do feel like trying out new roms awaken os is a must try for your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and before we end the video the rom does come with snapdragon camera baked in and as for drm info it is widevine l1 out of the box and you should be able to see the netflix application in the play store now unfortunately i do not have netflix to check the playback but yes the netflix app is available in the play store on this rom and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you